This is our third year doing this, and on behalf of the Rich Learning, I just want to welcome each and every one of you. We have had so much fun this summer with your children. They have really been a little bit of everything. Delightful, funny, um, smart, and a few other things. <laughs> We won't talk about that tonight. We're here to have a good time. What you're going to see is just how smart our children are. We put this show on the camp. We've had it before. We would do it for two weeks. This year, we did it for seven weeks. And they learned so much in two weeks, we decided to see, well, what could happen if we did it for seven? And tonight, you're in for a treat. I'm telling you, the teachers that we had this year, they have really outdone themselves. And we had teachers from all over the globe to come in and teach our children. If you look at the word education, E-D-U-C, D-U-C, Duke. Duke is the word for the leader. And E, do, means to lead out. Education, the definition of education is not to cram in. It's to lead out or to draw out like you've been drawing water from a well. I had a reading problem when I was a little boy. I had to go to special class. I was special. <laughs> and it took a teacher, a caring teacher, just a little while, uh, to realize that my eyes were darting all over the page. And they didn't know what dyslexia was back then. I'm 62 years old, soon to be 63. They didn't know what dyslexia was then. But she had to tell me, Rich, slow down. Slow down. And then you can speed up. Focus, focus, focus. At Harvard, there is an exercise neurologist, Dr. John Brady, who wrote a book on ADD, ADHD, before anybody was talking about it. And Dr. Rady wrote in his book, Driven to Distraction, that he thinks that most of our attention problems today, and attention problems are probably the biggest problem in American education, most of our attention problems could be uh, mitigated or solved or at least lessened if we move more in silence. Sit still, sit still, learn something. You know what? The little brains you're going to see up here, three, four, five, six, seven year olds, they need oxygen in their brain to focus. Oxygen, and they don't get much oxygen when you sit in the chair. They need a molecule that feeds the brain called glucose. And guess what? You get glucose when you're jumping and bouncing. Yeah. And so the teacher who's more concerned about classroom management and less concerned about the neurology of learning is going to say, sit still, sit still, sit still. You know what? If you're a neurologist, you say, run, 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 run. Okay, drink some water now because your lungs, which are made mostly of water, dehydrate. You know, I want oxygen in my brain, and now we can learn. And what we've learned is it takes about 20 minutes, minutes of movement to get the brain all fueled up on the high-octane fuel. There's even a fertilizer in the brain. It goes by the letters B, D, N, F. I call it best darn nerve fertilizer. And when you're moving your body, you're fertilizing the brain. Why do you put fertilizer on a field? You get a better yield, right? If you really want your kids to have a maximum brain, we need active learning environments, not passive sit still. No, no, we need active, and that's what the rich learning philosophy is about. It's hot out here, Mr. Fire, okay? You ready to find some animal color? You see some? Come on, go get them.
squash, and so. Oh, she got a lot of ladies. <laughs> a lot of ladies. What about this one right here? Columbia, South Carolina this evening to see the show and we were absolutely amazed at the retention that the kids had in seven short weeks. The variety of material that they presented was just astonishing. It was a great show.